Two men charged in connection to the plot to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer went before a judge this morning. Prosecutors say they're founding members of the Wolverine Watchmen militia and allowed other suspects to train on their property over in Jackson County. Local four defender Sean Lay tracking the bond hearing for Pete Masuko and Joseph Morrison. Karen, good afternoon to you and good afternoon to everyone. Every time there's been a hearing related to this Governor Whitmer alleged kidnapping plot, so much information comes out, jaw-dropping information. Let's get right to it about what happened in a Jackson County courtroom. is still going on right now, but you had mentioned the two defendants uh, facing the judge today, Joseph Morrison and Pete Musico, members of the uh, self-called militia group Wolverine Watchmen in the 12th District Court in Jackson. This was a bond hearing. It's going on right now. Musico, he's the head of the group Wolverine Watchmen, or he was. He was up first. His his lawyer, listen, he made a bold argument that you cannot charge Musico and the others with the state's anti-terror laws just by these guys talking about making these plans and training in the woods, but never actually acting on their plans. In fact, Musico's lawyer said Musico was kicked out of the group for being too soft. Now, the attorney general's office wanted a $10 million bond to hold Musico, saying he is a danger and his group had real plans to kidnap the governor. We learned also of a new plan B the group allegedly had to kidnap other state officials. The judge, though, siding with Musico, reducing that $10 million bond to $100,000. He's expected to make bond and then be monitored by a tether. Um, I just want to know where he's at. Uh, the GPS tether is uh, primarily for my purposes is to make sure he stays, stays in the state of Michigan and that he comes to court uh, when he's supposed to. Uh, he lives in Munith, uh, which is close to Ingham County. Um, I uh, had toyed uh, with the idea of perhaps restricting his travels to uh, certain counties, but given the nature of the job that he has, um, that is kind of difficult. Back here live, follow this. So the FBI and the Attorney General's office announcing this, these plans to allegedly kidnap the governor and put her on trial, storm the Capitol uh, with violence. And now you've gotten to this point with one of the defendants facing a $10 million bond and a judge more than likely letting him out as early as today, even though the state says he is a terrorist and is a danger. Up next now, what's happening is uh, Joseph Morris bond hearing. We'll see what happens there. And during these hearings, guys, we're getting a lot more insider information about the FBI's conversations with these guys, direct quotes from those conversations. A lot more information coming out. We'll continue to follow it for you. Have updates at four, five and six. Back to you. Very disturbing case. We will join you back here at four. Thank you, Sean.